Hey, this is Stephen. Today I will explain you about how to construct update dynamic SQL statement and execute it using the execute immediate command. Here also will be first I will be explain you about without using the bind argument and the next one is using bind argument. First we will see how to construct the update SQL statement and execute it using execute immediate and we are not using the bind argument here. Let me execute this program. This is a sample program. Previously in table 4 my value is 171202 anamica1. I want to change this name to some other name. So using update SQL uh, update command I am going to construct an update SQL statement dynamically and execute it using the execute immediate and I am going to change the name into Vijay for the employee ID sorry for the S number 171202 so these are the variable declarations part my table name the student number and student name I, so I am going to search for the student number 171202 and I am going to change the name of this student number as Vijay my SQL statement is update closing the single quotes because I'm going to write the variable name tab double pipeline with the tab variable where tab variable is substituted as table 4 next closing the single quotes sorry opening the single quotes because I want to set the student name set student name yes name equals closing the single single quotes and I want to write the student name variable because student name variable is Vijay so set student name equals closing the single quotes and then writing the variable student name so since I am going to write the variable name I am putting double quotes uh, sorry double single quotes and pipelining with the variable name student name again closing the single quotes two times and this open single quotes is for the where statement where statement this open single quotes is for where statement where student number equals again closing the single quotes because student number is substituted as s number one variable again pipeline with s number one variable so my update dynamic sql statement is ready so i am printing this sql statement and i am executing it let me execute it's completed here I am printing the update statement to check whether my dynamically created update statement is correct or not update table name set s name equals vijay within single quotes where s number equals 171202 let me check updated so this one is without using the bind argument I didn't use any bind argument here so my next example is I am reverting this so not reverting I am changing to some other name using the bind argument here also I am using the same table I am going to update for the student number 171202 and I am going to change the name from Vijay to Vikram using the bind argument so SQL statement var 2 of 100 begin going to construct the SQL statement but using the bind argument within single quotes I am putting update close the single quotes putting the variable tab which is table 4 closing the opening the single quotes for the set command set statement set student name equals colon 1 this is a, my bind argument this is my bind argument where s name equals set s name equals colon 1 where s number equals colon 2 so my colon 1 and colon 2 are the bind arguments as i said before colon you can write either colon 1 or colon a colon b like that or otherwise you can simply write colon s name also colon s name colon s number anything you can write it but those bind arguments should, should be substituted by the corresponding placeholder value that is the main thing and i am outputting the sql statement and using execute immediate 
I am going to execute this SQL statement. Since the binary argument are there, colon 1 and colon 2, there are two bind arguments. So those two bind arguments should be should be substituted with the corresponding placeholder value using s name 1 and s name s number 1. s name 1 and s number 1 are initialized previously. Okay, going to execute. It's completed. Here I am get printing the same update statement, dynamically created update statement. Let me check in the table. Yes, it's updated. So by this way, you can use the update statement. But in update statement, there is one more thing to be discussed. That is, ab while updating, you can also return some of the values, some of the other column values. Here I am updating the salary value for a particular employee. And after updating, I want to return the updated employee details. That is, I want to return the updated employee first name and last name. So here also you can execute. Use the dynamic SQL. Let me execute this. The first one is the initialization part. Here in this example, I'm going to use employees table. For the employees table, First, I am going to update salary for a particular employee. Here, I am going to update the salary for the employee ID 199. Let me check into the employees table data. The first record is 199. For this employee, I am going to update the salary 2701 to some other value salary. And after updating, I want to return the first name and last name. So for that, I am going to construct the dynamic SQL update close the single course the table name table name is a variable so double pipeline that is concatenating with the concatenating with the tab variable setting the salary set salary equals here i am using the bind argument so colon one bind argument colon one where employee id equals again colon two another bind argument returning after updating i want to return the first name and last name returning first name and last name into again the bind argument colon 3 and colon 4 so if you know the returning concept which is used in update statement you will be understanding this dynamic sql statement easily first i am updating the salary for this employee id after updating i am going to return the other column values other column means other column present in this employee table which is first name and last name and those returned values I am storing in colon 3 and colon 4 bind argument so here I am using four bind arguments one is for salary two is for employee ID three and four for first name and last name and printing the SQL statement and executing the SQL statement using those bind arguments should be substituted by the corresponding placeholder value what are my bind arguments? Colon 1 is for salary. So 7890 is my updated salary. And employee ID equals colon 2 is my second argument, bind argument. So my second bind argument value is 199. For 199 employee ID, I am going to update the salary. And returning first name and last name into colon 3 and colon 4, which is here I am returning into F name and L name. F name and L name are the first name and last name variables initialized in this PL SQL. So by this way I am executing it and after executing I am printing the result salary updated for the F name and L name. Printing this value. Let me execute. It's completed. I am printing the update statement and I got the result as salary <coughs> Salary updated for the first name and last name is Douglas Grant. Let me check in the employee table. Data. Salary is updated to 7890. So this way you can execute. You can construct the dynamically. Construct the dynamic update statement and execute it using 
execute immediate and you can also return the values also in the update statement next we will discuss about the delete statement in the next session thanks for watching